Finally, a cheaper and intelligent model from Todd Hantrophic, we have now the Haiku 4.5. As we know, the previous version, Haiku 3.5, did not do well in the vibe coding space. And here, Tropic released this new version, and it's three times cheaper than the usual Sonnet 4.5. So we're going to try this in two things. First, we're going to create a directory using this prompt right here. The second thing is we will be creating instant WordPress theme using this prompt. So first, let's go to the simplest one, which is the WordPress theme. Now I'm going to copy everything right up until here. So open a blank notepad, then paste the prompt here. We're going to modify this a little bit, these three variables. So this color palette, it's optional. You can remove that and also remove this in about line 20 because we removed the configuration. Otherwise, you can define the color palettes, but it's optional. So the folder name just have something unique. Maybe name it before your niche. And here we're going to try the electric vehicles and we will grab some keywords right here from SEMrush. So we go to questions tab. As you can see right here, we've got 5,200 keywords available for this niche right here, which you can create as article. So we will do some sample articles to see how it's going to look like in this custom blood theme using the Haiku 4.5. So going back to our configuration here, I'm just going to say electric. So that's going to be the name of the folder. And then the site title will be just for the demonstration, we will just have it as electric vehicles. So team name is copy exactly the site title. It doesn't matter. Then maybe append it with what type of model you use. So let's say Haiku 4.5. So suppose you're going to use another model. You can just change the team name. Now that's it. That's all the configuration you need. So we're going to grab all this that we set. Now, if you don't have this, just download local WP and install this in your computer. This is to run WordPress directly in your computer. So once you install that, let's add a new site. So here, create a new site. I'm just going to name this as electric vehicles and click on continue. All right, that's it. Our WordPress has been installed. Make sure you toggle this so you don't have to enter the credential when you enter, when you pick this WP admin. Looks to be working. Now let's go ahead and do the vibe coding. Click this VS code right here so it opens the text editor. Now once you have the text editor right here, click Klein or Kilo code or root code. It doesn't matter which one, but just for simplicity, we're going to use Klein. And here in the settings, click this icon and the API provider you can use directly from Anthropic or you can use the open router. So for this one, let's go ahead and select this one right here, Haiku 4.5 and make sure you have the correct model. Click done and we're ready to go. We are now using Haiku 4.5. Now come back to our prompt, right click and copy this and paste it right there. Let's go ahead and vibe code this and later let's see how much we will be spending to complete this because this is three times cheaper than the usual Sonnet 4.5. And let's see how it's going to look like. While we're doing this, I think we can simultaneously proceed in our directory, creating the directory team in WordPress. So here, we're going to go back to local WP and click this plus icon to add another site. Now click on continue. So using GFAS, I scraped data earlier. So I think we can go ahead and just try the travel agency. So I'm just going to download this. So as you can see here, I downloaded the sample 50 listings and these are all the travel agency available in the USA. So make sure there's no abbreviation or shortened name of the state. So our directory will look nicer without any shortened version of the state. Now, this is the prompt that we will be using to create the directory. So I'm just going to grab a copy of this one and again, open a blank notepad and paste it right there. Now I'm just going to fill in these variables right here. Again, same thing. We can remove the color palettes. That's only optional. But if you want to define your own color palettes, then do that. And I am also going to remove that in line 26. All right, then I'm going to define the same thing. The site folder name will be just, so let's just use travel agency team. And here, site title will be. So travel agencies in the US, custom post key. We will just have the singular form of travel. Make sure you put hyphen. All right, travel agency. And then this is custom taxonomy or category. We will categorize it by state name. You can just copy exactly the site title and append with the model that you're going to use. So Google category, of course, we will do travel agency and then the country will be USA. That's all the configuration you need to create your instant directory. So we're going to copy this before that complete the setup of this. So the name is travel agency, the name of the new WordPress site continue. So as you can see, you can run multiple WordPress sites simultaneously. And here we're going to call this and the same thing. Let's go to the VS code. And these are the files related to the travel agency directory that we're going to create. So same thing, we're going to go to line and then go to settings. So it's still having the same configuration as we did earlier. And we just need to paste our entire prompt to create the directory. Let's go ahead and do that. So simultaneously, we are creating the two applications that we need to test the Haiku 4.5. Now let's just visit the WordPress theme that we created earlier. 
So it's still ongoing. So let's just wait for a few moments. So as you can see, these two are running. Guys, I don't think flying is going to work using Claude Haiku 4.5. So what we need to do here is use dot code itself using Haiku 4.5. As you can see here, it's throwing random error and it didn't create any files. So what I'm going to do is open Claude code here. So I just open the integrated terminal and here just type Claude. From here, you can select a model. You see right here, Haiku is still not available. So what we need to do here is update our Claude code using this command right here. So we just going to install the update, copy this command. And from here, just run it. So it looks to be updated. Now let's run Claude again and let's check the model. There you go. Haiku is available right there. The fourth option, we select this. All right. So now we're going to copy the prompt right here in the plot code itself. Do not use client or Tilo code. Hi, doesn't work there. So going back to our directory team, copy this and paste it right there. All right. And then run this. Now simultaneously, we're going to do that to our electric vehicles too. All right, guys. So this one did work. So as you can see, the total cost, we just spent 0.33. It's using Blood Haiku and everything seems to be completed here in our directory. Looks to be all the files that we requested are here. Now we will test if this is going to be a valid team. So here in the travel agency, we're going to open the site or open the WD admin. All right. So go to teams and uh, there you go. The travel agency team is there. So we can activate this. Hopefully there's no issue. All right, looks to be working. Now, before we see the actual appearance, we have to import these listings that we scraped earlier. So what we're going to do is install a plugin. So here we're going to install ACF. Just search for ACF and install this plugin and then activate it. Now, there's one more. Click on add plugin again. And here we're going to upload the plugin. So this custom plugin is available in the description below. This will help you import the listings that you scraped earlier. And this one, XLS2 custom importer, install this. Now let's activate it. All right, so first go to ACF and click Field Groups. You should see this sync available, so we'll just import them. And now go to Tools and click SLSX Importer. We're going to browse the XLSX file that we scraped from GIFA Scraper and click on Upload and Parse. We're going to select the box type Toad Fields and the content will be just select Attributes, map the content to Attributes, and Feature Image will be the main image. Do not touch anything here in ACF section, so they are mapped automatically. What you just need to define is the taxonomy mapping. So click this add taxonomy mapping and select region. And this one is states. So it states will be the parent categories. And then the children category will be the city and select states here. Now click on start import. So as you can see, the 50 listings that we scraped earlier have been successfully imported. Now it's time to see how the directory look like. All right, there you go. It's been created using Haiku 4.5 and we just spent 0 0.3 dollars or 30 cents. So here are the states and let's check one of the state. If the city is loading Florida, there seems to be an error. We can fix that. But the way it displayed, look at this. All right. It's looking decent. It's a great job. This one popular travel agency around USA. So it gave us a nice hard layout right here to display all this popular travel agency around the United States. So there you go. That's your instant directory right there. And you have the latest articles, so you can add your latest articles. This is using Haiku 4.5, and it's very cheap to create this instant directory. So let's check one of the listing. All right, it looks to be decent, or the working hours is there. Yeah, really great. So again, guys, just use Cloud Code, okay? It won't work in Blind and Hilo Code. So for now, Haiku 4.5, you can only vibe code it using Cloud, and it looks to be really great. So look at this. These are the city in Missouri, Springfield, Okay, one is thing in Springfield. All right, looks to be really nice. But can now create a bunch of directories using Haiku 4.5. It's intelligent. Have to be able to follow this complex prompt right here to create your instant directory. So here, what you just need to do is create a hero section image, which will be displayed here. Very easy to do and fix this JavaScript here. I think I uh, got missed, but it will be fixed easier. So that's our directory right there. Now we're going to check the WordPress theme that we need to create. So coming back here, uh, the VS Code, so here we're going to open the terminal again and plug. And from here, we're going to paste the custom prompt that we have right here. Copy this and paste it right there and execute it. So let's just wait for a few moments. This will be pretty fast. All right, guys, it seems to be completed. Now, this is the team and we have all the files related to our team right here. Now, it's time for us to see whether we can activate this. So going back here, go to WP Admin and then in Appearance, Teams. You can see the custom team that we created using Haiku 4.5. We activate this and from here, we can visit the site. There you go. Looks to be pretty awesome. 
It's not that great, but it's okay. It followed all the instructions we need. Now, the frequently asked question is also working, as you can see, and the latest articles. We also have the subscribe to our newsletter, which we didn't ask, but it's fine. Now, click this read article. We want to see how the actual article looked like. So I will just generate quickly some sample articles using Article AI Generator. And from here, to get the keywords, let me copy some of this. For example, this one, are electric vehicles better for environment? So I'm just going to copy this keyword and paste it right there. I will copy another one. So maybe this one, are electric vehicles worth it? Paste it right there. So you can generate up to 50 at a time. And also, Cloud 4.5 Haiku is also available in Article AI Generator. If you want your article to be generated using Cloud 4.5 Haiku, we will also generate featured image to see how it's going to look like in the post section. We're not going to auto post it because it's still in our local computer. But if it's in the server, you can auto post them directly so you don't have to do manual posting. So let's generate these two articles. All right. So as you can see, these two are generating. Let's just wait for a few minutes. All right. These two are now complete. Let's do manual posting. Let's have the first one. So look at this. We have a beautiful featured image right here. Let's save this and copy the title. So coming back here, let's add a new post. This is just to see how the post will look like and then copy the content. So when there's featured image and you copy the content, make sure to delete the image because it's also copied uh, so the featured image one that you saved earlier. All right, and then publish this. That's beautiful post. Look at that. That's how our articles look like. And we have this SEO friendly article right here using Article AI Generator. So instantly you can use this to post in your blog. So it's SEO friendly. As you can see, we have the various formatting. And we have the related post. So we want to see how it's going to look like with the other article. So I'm just going to create another post and have the second article right here. So look at that. We have another beautiful featured image. I'm going to save this, publish this, and view the post. That's our second article. And again, our SEO friendly article right there. So look at this. We have the related post right here. Now we can visit the home page and we can scroll down. So this is the latest article section look like if we have multiple articles right there. And that's it. That's how we tested the Haiku 4.5. Looks to be promising. The sign looks to be decent. And it's not that too expensive compared to Sonnet 4.5. Uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think.